So in this video, we're going to be looking at second order differential equations with constant coefficients that are non-homogeneous. So non-homogeneous means that we're going to have something like a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals to some driving term f of t. And I'm going to define y as a function of time now because in most practical applications, you care about functions that are functions of time. So that's what we're going to define it as um, from now on. And basically, the easiest method to solve this is by the method of undetermined coefficients, which consists of separating this into two parts. The first part consists of solving the homogeneous part. So that is, we're going to take this equation, set it equal to zero, and find the roots of that so that we can find the solution in the form c1, y1, plus c2, y2 using the methods we have already learned in the previous videos. Now the second part is going to consist of finding a function y that is sort of equal to f of t, but we're going to change things around so we can change something like a constant in it, or maybe multiply it by another function, and then we're going to substitute it back into the equation to find whatever those coefficients are, and that's going to lead to the final uh, general solution, which is going to be a superposition of those two, so it's just going to be y homogeneous plus capital Y. And this is better illustrated through an example, so that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, so we're going to start with a simple example. This one is going to be y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals to e to the 2t. So the first step is we're going to take the homogeneous part of this equation, which is going to be this, and we're going to find the characteristic equation, so that's r squared minus 2r minus 3 equals 0. And we can factorize this, so that's going to be r plus 1, r minus 3 equals to 0, such that r1, 2 is going to be minus 1 or 3. So our homogeneous solution is going to be c1 e to the minus t plus c2 e to the 3t because we have two distinct and real roots. So that's the general solution we get for that. Now, the second part is going to consist of finding a function. So a function y or capital Y that is similar to this. But in this case, we're going to actually use a constant term. So we're going to call it a e to t. So the whole idea is that we're going to substitute the values of this function into here and then we're going to find the value of that undetermined coefficient a. And that's where this method gets its name from. So let's do that now. We're going to have y prime equals to 2a e to t and y double prime equals to 4a e to t. Now the di original differential equation has the form y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y equals e to t. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to substitute these values in here. That's e to t minus 2 times that, which is 4a e to t. Now immediately these two cancel out. And minus 3 times y. So y was originally a e to t. And that's going to be equal to e to t. So in the end, these two terms are going to cancel out. And to solve for a, we get a equals to minus 1 over 3. That means that our function y, or capital Y, is going to be minus 1 over 3 e to the 2t. So what is our general solution for the whole equation? Well, it's just going to be a superposition of the homogeneous solution plus this capital Y solution that we found. And that's going to be equal to c1 e to the minus t plus c2 e to the 3t minus 1 over 3 e to t. So as you can see, it's just going to continue to be a superposition of those solutions. And in the next video, I'm going to show you another example, which is going to use a different function. Uh, we're going to see that there are different things that we need to do to manipulate this function in order to match this one. And there are a few rules that we need to learn before we keep moving on.